We're back now with growing outrage over a plan to slash government funding for the Special Olympics. It is a plan that some local families call appalling. So we want to know what you think about this. Go to the Vote Now tile of the WFAA app and tell us, do you think government funding should be cut from the Special Olympics? While you vote, here's Matt Howerton. These medals I just love it so much. are a point of pride in Madison Thompson's room. Go, Maddie, go! <laughs> Basketball, track and field, bowling. It makes me feel awesome. The 15-year-old Special Olympics athlete can do it all, and moments like these make her mom proud. It's invaluable what Special Olympics provides for these kids. We had to make some okay. difficult decisions with this budget. Okay. But this moment on Capitol Hill has Thompson's mother furious. I, I was pretty, pretty appalled that somebody would take away something that means so much to these kids. In a House committee meeting, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos faced fierce backlash when she proposed cutting all federal funding for Special Olympics. The total, $17.6 million. It's money that impacts about 270,000 kids nationwide. In Texas alone, 58,000 children and adults participate in Special Olympics. The one little thing that you can take away, you're going to take away, and that's huge happiness. I, I just don't understand it. Political experts say a split Congress won't approve DeVos's proposed cut, but in a press release, DeVos defended the move, saying she supports the mission of Special Olympics, but that given our current budget realities, the federal government cannot fund every worthy program, particularly ones that enjoy robust support from private donations. Those words made Thompson's blood boil. That makes no sense. If you care and you really love these kids and you want them to be happy, why would you take that away? In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton. Now, to be fair, the New York Times reports that Betsy DeVos donated part of her own salary to Special Olympics last year. I want to take you back now to that poll question. So far, about 1,400 of you have voted and it's been a resounding no should the government uh, cut funding from Special Olympics. 92% say no, only 8% say yes. How would you like to bring 